So here we have a charger unit or a power supply for a camcorder. It's a little plug for it, right? And uh, it doesn't work anymore. Which is fine, it's easy enough to get a replacement, but uh, this thing is so well labeled and so awesome, it just begs to actually be repaired and not just thrown away. They've gone to such amazing detail. Caution on the primary side. You've got the primary and secondary marked. They have the line showing the separation. They have separation that's really good. Uh, it's just spark gaps everywhere. Overall, it's really well designed. Um, of course, you know, well, but it's dead, so obviously it's not a perfect design. Well, hard to say. Already identified the issue as the front connector. I'm thinking due to heat or something, the little tabs that used to overhang the board have just gone away. So now it's free to move. So that's broken and lifted this pad here and fractured the solder joint here. And so any combination of those two, and it basically just doesn't make contact at any point. Your first thought would be we can just reflow the solder in both points, but with the lifted pad, you might not actually solder to anything. Or even worse, you'll make perfect contact and then you'll insert something and it'll just strike it and break the tiny thin line. So there's two options for doing this. You can either scrape away the trace and bring the solder out, or you can, uh, if you have options, you can actually just jump this over to another point, like say these test points here. We can actually just solder wire and jump her over, or we can do a combination. I mean, the, the best option would be to replace this connector so you've got one with tabs. I don't really have this specific connector on hand as far as I'm aware. So probably could use some form of adhesive, like, you know, super glue in between there to hold it down, but that might not work. So at least the theory here is ways that you can repair it and I'll, I'll prove it working and not working. So here we've got our lovely meter with continuity. So just clip up to one of the sides here. And you can see that that's the neutral that we're connected to right now. So I can leave it on this tab and no matter how I move it, it's gonna keep working because the tab is fine. It's our joint around it that's not. We go to the test point There we go. If we go to our test point, we can see, well, this is a pretty extreme angle, but we can see that it cuts out at points. If we go to our other connector, shift over to our live here. The connector is fine, but if we scoot over to our test point, nothing, absolutely nothing. So we are not getting through on the live. So very simply, I'm going to join these two spots. It'll work for the purpose of this test, but again, really should replace this connector or get it tied in here better. So I reflowed this one. And also I have a piece of copper wire to join between these two. Um, you can choose to use magnet or whatever. It depends upon the size of things that you're working with. So pretty bad but we can see that it is linking between these p test points and it's all nicely shorted together so it should uh, make continuity so all we have to do is not break our joints while we plug in a cable uh, the horrible sounds of breaking everything alrighty Look, it kind of works. That was me slipping off. There. Oops. See? Until you let go, it works fine. Yeah, that works. And here's my poorly reflowed neutral. Oh, test point. You got, can't cheat here. Come on. So while it's not ultimately fixed, there's some ways that you can go about uh, repairing connectors like that. Because don't go crazy and assume that because you have a supply that's not giving power, that any of all of the components on it are shot. Check connector first, because what's the thing that you're, connect you're physically moving enough that would break something that you're 
inserting and unplugging and twisting all around. You got this side, and you got this side. And since we can't test if this side works until I make sure this side works, got to work on this side first. So we just look at it, and we saw the problems, and we mostly addressed it. Like I said, either get a new connector or before you start soldering, really attach this to the board very well with super glue or something. I, I neglected to do that, or I purposely chose not to. So there we go. It's a nice, it's a really nice little power supply. I love that the, I love that the shielding for the transformer also happens to be the heat sink for this nice part. Um, the caps will probably get a little bit warm in there depending upon how much heat this puts off because this is an entirely sealed enclosure. But besides that, I don't know, I, I like it. I love the labeling if you're repairing it. I, not that I think they're that expensive to replace, but it's nice that everything is labeled. So hopefully this helps you out with uh, your endeavors. And uh, subscribe if you want more randomness, awesomeness, electronics or otherwise. Uh, like this video if you like kind of weird tutorials like this. And comment.